This is Tom Bernacki and today I'm talking about ankle pain. So if you have bone ankle pain or muscle ankle pain or an ankle sprain, we've got the top five causes. So wait around, especially until uh, the last one because I'm gonna go from the least common to the most common and I'm gonna tell you tips why it's happening and what you can do about it right now, today. I'm gonna tell you what to do, so keep watching. Disclaimer, we can't actually give it advice online, so don't listen to anything we ever say. This is Tom Bernacki. Again, sign up and subscribe. We're bringing you the best foot and ankle news to get your foot problems better. Starting with number five. This is the most common. So everybody that comes in a clinic thinks they have this, but they don't really have this. And we're talking about number one ankle arthritis so this is your ankle joint right here so when i zoom in right there that's your ankle joint what happens is this hurts in the front so when you look at your foot this thing's falling apart on me but if you look at the front of the foot right here that's where the pain is it's not on the inside of the ankle and it's not really on the outside of the ankle but the most common people to get ankle arthritis are people who had a prior ankle fracture or crush injury of their ankle. If you are overweight, if you are stand on hard floors all day, highly unlikely for this to be ankle pain. Ankle arthritis is mostly due to fractures, to injuries of cartilage that have built up and are, had arthritis. So here's a couple pictures of our ankle arthritis. Uh, this is likely not you. If you've been in a car accident, this might be you. But if you haven't been in a car accident, this is likely not you. Definitely, injections work really well. Uh, things like ankle fusion work really well. Joint replacement work well. But don't worry, these are hard solutions, but 95% chance this is not what you have unless you're older and you had a broken ankle before. Number two. So this is the second least common out of our top five. So we're going from least common to most common. But this is a muscle injury called posterior tibial tendinitis. Do you, are you younger? Are you very flat footed? Do you have shin splints? This is what shin splints are. It's this muscle that basically, oh, this, this is falling apart on me. This whole foot and ankle is falling apart on me. But if you have inside of the ankle pain, so shin splint pain, this is most likely your cause of posterior tibial tendinitis. When you're running for a long time, when your foot's flattening out, most people don't even know they have this pain. Like when people come in, they say their ankle's hurting, I press up their leg. They don't even know they're having this pain and problems. But that's the beauty of this is you likely do have it. And what's going to happen is uh, you have to find out you have it. There's a treatment guide. I'm going to link up to it right here. But basically treat it like flat foot treat it the same way you would heal pain. Uh, as long as you straighten out that foot, that muscle will get better. It's very rare to need surgery. It's very rare to need any type of invasive therapy or treatment. So number three, the third most likely cause is back of the heel pain. So as you're looking right here, you can have a heel spur or Achilles tendonitis. This can radiate. This could be, see this right here, this is your Achilles tendon, and this is your fat pad right here. So getting bursitis would be this insertional pain. Getting Achilles tendonitis right here would hurt about two to six centimeters from the back of your heel. This is very common in athletes, very common in skiers, very common in people who jump up and down, very common in people who have a bump at the back of their heel. So again, this is a very correctable problem without surgery. So uh, there's a link up here. If you have Achilles tendonitis, click that link. We're gonna show you how to get your foot pain better very quickly. The complete Achilles tendon treatment guide right here. So make sure you don't have a spur. Make sure you don't tear it. These are very correctable problems. So Achilles tendonitis. So number two most common. This is related to our uh, 
number four, which was posterior tibial tendonitis, but it's flattening out of your foot. So when you land on your foot, it should land straight like this, but when it flattens out, it squeezes like this. So you can see a couple things happen right here. These ligaments on the inside, your posterior tibial tendon, they stretch. So your posterior tibial tendon, which is on the inside and you land, it stretches. Whereas the joints on this side, you can see here, it's not your ankle joint right here, but it's these joints right here called your subtalar joint. Your subtalar joint uh, gets squeezed. So when your foot flattens out, so this is number two, the most common flat foot. What happens is your subtalar joint squeezes and your posterior tibial tendon uh, gets extended and most commonly right here when you look at these guys heel spurs plantar fasciitis when your foot lands and flattens the ligament pulls out it pulls so you get those three things posterior tibial tendonitis subtalar joint compression and flat foot pain so we're putting the guide up here. If this is your problem, this is in everybody. This is people who stand on hard surfaces, people who are overweight, people who just have aching pain throughout their legs, their knees, click on our guide up here. It's a 20 minute guide, but if you have this serious problem, this will show you everything you need to take care of this problem. And we're down to the last one, the number one most common thing. And this happens to younger people, it happens to everybody. This is an ankle sprain. So what happens is if you fall, if you twist your foot and ankle, you have ligaments on the outside right here. So you have ligaments on the outside called your uh, PTFL, your CFL, or correction, your PTFL's back here, your CFL's on the side, and your ATFL's in the front. These three ligaments, when you land, and twist your foot in, they get stretched. So there's three grades of ankle sprain. Um, grade one is a stretch of the ligaments. It takes about a week or two to get better. So grade two is a partial tear and grade three is a pretty large tear. And that's the point where you could start breaking bones. So this guide up here will show you how to take care of your ankle sprain pain. So <laughs> watch this guide. This guide will help you. This is one of our top guides. We've got over uh, one to 200,000 views uh, at this point. So second most common is as you land, your foot flattens out. So posterior tibial tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, and on the outside, subtalar joint squeezing right here. And the number one most common is your ankle sprain. Whoosh. So 